Hi again, everybody. Miss Westerhoff here for your final video of the cat dissection. Um, this time, uh, urinary and reproductive. So the urinary system is pretty simple. We've got two kidneys. Here is the cat's right kidney and left kidney. Coming from the kidneys is a tube called the ureter. That's this tube right here and this tube right here. So we have left ureter and right ureter. Cut that one already. And then that leads to the cat's bladder. Now these are stuck way down in the very back wall and they call that being located retroperitoneally. So if you've ever heard of somebody um, giving somebody else a kidney punch, it's right um, along the back wall. If they punch you hard enough, they can injure your kidney and it can cause you to bleed uh, inside your kidney, which then sends blood down into the ureter, which then sends blood into the bladder, and then you pee blood, and that's how you know that you uh, may potentially have injured that kidney. So if I separate it out here, you can see it's covered in a lot of that connective tissue again. This time that would be that visceral peritoneum. That's right over the surface of it, like a little bag. Super, super thin, but you can kind of see it coming off there. there go. Actually looks kind of pretty once you get it off. There's the surface of the kidney. It's shaped like a bean. The indent to the bean is called the hilum, and that's where all the Arteries and veins are going in and out. So blue and red again, arteries and veins. So we call them renal arteries and renal veins. And if I try to give this kidney a nice slice down the middle like a book without cutting myself. You can see that the kidney has distinct layers to it. And so the cortex is the outermost portion. And then we have the medulla, which is in the middle. This is where you can find those renal pyramids. That's where all those nephrons are. They started up here and then ended down here. And then they're gonna drain down here into the pelvis and eventually the sinus, and then eventually leave out the ureter. That's the inside of a kidney. The other kidney is here. And again, they're really stuck inside that cat. They don't move. Lots of connective tissue holding it in. You have to kind of dig to find them. They're hidden under lots of fat. And again, more visceral peritoneum. And then this was a female cat. And so I have looked for an exposed um, in a human female, we have um, two fallopian tubes, a right and a left, two ovaries, a right and a left. Um, cats, same thing, except theirs go up one side and the other, so they call them um, uterine horns. So this one here is the right uterine horn, and on the top it looks like a little bean, and that's the ovary. And then here's the left uterine horn, and I didn't expose this one very well yet, but there's another little bean right inside of there. Ooh, there it is. Right there. So those little things right there are the ovaries. <clears throat> and these are the uterine horns. And so when the female cat gets pregnant, her cat babies actually, they start developing right in here. So they might have three or four baby cats in this side and it gets real big. And they might have three or four cats in this side and it gets real big and swollen. And then eventually that leads to uh, the vagina and outside of the cat, which can also be the birth canal. So a little bit of differences there between the cat and the human uh, reproductive systems in terms of the female. Uh, Wow, but that's it. That is your cat dissection. Thanks for following along. Uh, answer the questions when you're done. 
and we only have one more week left of lessons. So thanks for watching these cat dissection videos. Hope you liked them. Bye.